Linda Hancock. I'm a technical system specialist here at High Rail International Inc. We're in Norcross, Georgia. We um, work with a lot of different industries such as aerospace, uh, appliances, architecture, engineering, GIS mapping, dental, automotive, education of course, and medical. Um, we find that the material science and biomedical research um, groups like us the best. They find our systems the most help. But today we're here to make a 10 penny battery. Are you ready? Let's get started. First I'm going to show you just the basic schematic. Okay, so here we have the positive and here we have the negative comes on over and we're going to make kind of like a sandwich. We're going to make some layers. So this is going to be one copper penny here. Then we're going to put a, a paper disc here, a foil disc, followed by another copper penny, kind of like a sandwich. So this is the bread. And the bread over here. Okay, and then followed by the two middle parts, which will be the paper disc, and this will be the foil. Now we're doing this so that we can maximize the voltage that will come out of here. So we're going to have a total of 10 pennies, so we're going to keep making our layers over here. So, um, and combine it and it'll be, you'll see it's going to be great. So. Um, are you ready to get started? Good. Let's go. Come on. Hi. Welcome back. Now we're going to get ready to do a 10 penny battery. Are you ready? Let's go. First, we got to work on our safety. So I have on my lab coat to protect my clothes from any chemical spills. I have my safety glasses. Very nice. And I have my latex gloves. Okay. So, um, also remember that when you do this, you want to have a teacher or a parent help you with this because um, safety is our biggest priority. We want to keep you happy and safe and keep learning. Okay, so, um, so let's see. Um, we're going to learn now how our 10-penny battery works, and we're going to go through our checklist first to make sure we have everything. So now we're going to start with our checklist. As you can see, it's right here and it goes through 10 pennies, nine of the paper disc, nine of the foils, one red and one black wire, the two LEDs, um, we have the electronic breadboard, it's really cute, tape, multi-tester, two plastic cups, vinegar, salt, paper towels. All right, so let's make sure we have that. First we have our pennies, check. And then we have our paper disc, check. We have our foil disc, check. We have our uh, red and black wire and then the two LEDs, Check. We have our uh, breadboard. Let's check that right We now. have our tape. We have our multi tester. Check. We have our two plastic cups. So you see here we have our vinegar. We have our salt. And of course, last but not least, we have our paper towels. Those are always very helpful. Okay, so now we're just like making a cake or anything else. First you lay out your ingredients and then you go from there. Okay, so we have our stuff. So let's set this aside and start one at a time. And first thing we're gonna do is work on cleaning these pennies because they are not clean right now and they need to be clean and, and um, so they can conduct the electricity the best. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a vinegar just enough to cover the pennies. And then we're going to add salt, enough to saturate the water. It's approximately one half to one teaspoon that we're using of the salt. And we're going to wash it around. I don't know if you can see this, but it's just going to clean this up nice and... It takes about 60 seconds. And with our nice gloves, we can swish it around if we want to. 
You can already see they're starting to clean. So um, we're starting again. Now we're going to soak our paper discs. We're going to put some vinegar down in the bottom. This is going to be about three tablespoons if you're measuring, but really just put some in in order to saturate the disc because they're just little cardboard discs. This, this helps with the conductivity of the electricity. Okay, so they're going to sit in there. As soon as we get all of the tarnish off of this, then we're going to um, dry them off with that paper towels. Okay, so we're going to let these soak a little bit longer. And here are some that are dry, so we're going to now make one layer. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take out my discs. Okay, so we're going to build it, build it. one penny on the bottom, one paper disc. Hmm. Try not to bend your foil. And the foil, when you're building up the whole thing, doesn't want to um, touch each other. One penny on the top. Okay. Okay, so here comes our next paper foil. Paper and then foil. Then penny. Paper. Then foil. Then penny. And so forth. So we're going to do this all the way. So now I'm going to attach the first lead, the negative, and I am t attaching it to the penny. Okay. And then I'm going to take my other tape, I just redid it a little bit, and wrap it around and keep, just hold it together. Now let's see what we've got now. I put one on the negative side and one on the positive side. Okay, and then I'm going to take our battery. Now again, the trick is a little compression here. So the red is the positive, and the blue is like black for negative. And there we have it. We have our penny battery. And you can see it, it lighting up. It's on the board. The electronic breadboard. Um, the trick is on getting your positive and negative. So the positive appears to be where the copper is. The negative is connected where the foil is. And then you can do the correct things. There we go. You can see how long it's going to stay lit. Great job, everyone. One point seven six, one point seven five. Very nice. So another thing is, is if we made banks of the pennies, um, we can connect them and then you could power um, your remote control if you want or charge your cell phone. You could be MacGyver um, in um, everyday life. So, um, and do little experiments and save, save whoever you need to do if their phone dies. Have fun with it.